I'm Price Brown, a principal of Hilldale Elementary School in Putnam City. They're just an incredible faculty. You know, you can't be here and not be motivated by what's going on with our faculty. They, they take these kids and they make sure that they're successful. It's a school that has 100% free and reduced lunch. We have, we're about 70% Hispanic, 20% African American. About 51% of our kids identify as ESL. So we have a lot of challenges, but um, we're up for it. We, we think there's no better place for them to be than here. We currently sit at about 750 students. Basic needs first, you know, it's Maslow's. <laughs> you know, um, if, if a kid is worried about their next meal or, or worried about having a coat when it's cold and stuff like that, it's really hard for them to think about school. You know, you cannot be in this school now and, and just not be invigorated by what you see going on. Um, we may have cracked tile and we may not be the, the prettiest school on the outside, but whenever you meet our kids and you meet our staff and you see what's going on within our walls, um, you know this is a school you want to be a part of. My name is Britt Barrientes. I am a fourth grade teacher at Hilldale Elementary School in the Putnam City School District in Oklahoma City. And this is my fourth year teaching. My favorite part about teaching is, I have an example. My favorite part about teaching is um, seeing students' success. My first year at Hilldale, which is about three years ago, we had our standardized testing. And when they came back, I was able to show the results to one of my students and she came and gave me a huge hug in the hallway with little tears in her eyes saying I've never been I've never passed the test before and it melted my little heart no I just was it was I was overwhelmed to see um, the look on their face after seeing their success so my favorite part is seeing students succeed now if we don't have a number line this is how we do it stand up six tenths Three tenths. All right, you've been adding like this since kindergarten. Tell your neighbor, this is pretty easy. Now, you have been adding it this way since kindergarten. Six plus three. What we're gonna do today is add this little decimal point. Six tenths plus three tenths. Okay, Mir? Mir. When we are adding decimals, we want to align the numbers up and down. We wanna align that place value then we're going to add the numbers like normal, like we've been doing since we were about this big. But the decimal point's going to come straight down. Mirror away. Let me show you what I mean. Sit down. That was a pretty weak mirror away. Give me an uh. Um, iPads have transformed instruction at our school. Um, the kids really respond really well to it. We become really involved in um, trying to identify apps and programs that we believe uh, meet our kids' needs. Um, we're a Title I school, so we do have resources available to us that some schools don't have. At Hilldale, we have uh, one iPad per student. And so in my classroom, we have 21 iPads, and there's one in, each, in the hands of each kid. And so their morning work and the, to start a math lesson and their, all their tests and quick checks, that's all on an iPad. So paper, we're not quite fully paperless, but we're as close as we can be to it. And so um, during the day, they would come into the room. They would start their, after they get everything ready, they start their morning work, which is on an app on the iPad. And as they're working throughout the day, they're staying, they're jumping on and off the iPad when I, however I dictate it. Decimal point, you ready for this? It's going to fall boop, 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 straight down. Six tenths plus three tenths is nine tenths, and that is how you add decimals. Wasn't that so hard? That was so tough, but we made it. No? Oh, Akaya's looking at me like that's the easiest thing she's ever learned. <laughs> You're right, Akaya, it is super easy. iPad on? iPad on. Unlock. Unlock. So you can use your number line, like I showed you with Michael, or we can put the numbers up and down like you've done since kindergarten. Edu creations. Edu creations. Edu creations. Edu creations. There we go. Now we're talking. I'm gonna need my iPad this time. Where'd I put my iPad? Thank you. Um, make sure you have your procedures down first. 
when they get when kids get their iPads the first time, a lot of them already know what to do with it, so they can get on and, and change stuff however they want. It's really important that you have your procedures in place to make sure that students are doing what you want them to be doing. We have procedures for turning them on, turning them off, um, going to the home screen, switching apps, um, getting them out, putting them away, um, where they're supposed to be, like either in their lap or on their desk, um, different apps to be on. Okay, open up a blank page on Educreations. I'm getting there too. And we are going to practice adding and subtracting some more fractions. Er, did I say fractions? I meant decimals. Tell me it's okay. It's okay. Oh, I didn't feel very reassured. Tell me it's okay. It's okay. Oh, thank you. I feel much better now. Well, got some technical difficulties. Margarita, why don't you put yours back up? Um, if that, if yours is doing what mine's doing and it won't open, why don't you close it all the way out and try opening it again? And if you have to, hit the little select. Oh, <laughs> you stole it from me. <laughs> it's okay. If you have to, hit the little select at the top. I'm taking it back, Margarita. <laughs> select and then click on the, the thing you're trying to open in the little trash can. Delete. Sometimes we get so many pages that it takes a long time to open up again. So then you'd have to make a new one. And they're fun. Have fun. There's a ton of stuff out there. There's lots of things that you can use for them. So, yeah, please do it. Use it. And they love doing it. And it's a great motivator. And it's, it'll, it's a great motivator when you give it. And it's a great motivator when you take it away to do what you're supposed to be doing. So I love it. I love it. I don't know how I could ever do it without. Hello, my name is Jeff Town. I teach fourth grade at Hilldale Elementary School. Well, it's eliminated paperwork a lot in my classroom, um, running off copies and wasting money on paper. A lot of our work is just done on the iPads. I can put work into Shobi and then I could push it out to the kids and they do their work there. Um, different whiteboard apps that we use. Um, we take, through Mastery Connect, we take a lot of our online assessments through that and so the kids have me immediate feedback. I have immediate feedback and so it works out real well. We have styluses for the kids. So, you know, they do all the writing and everything on there, and plus the different apps and uh, different websites that they can go to. Two times two is? Four. 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 482. And as Haley reminded me, when I multiply our tens, I'm going to go ahead and put a zero because that is not a four, right? It's a 40. So we're going to go ahead and put down our zero. Okay, let's multiply by our tens. Four times one is? Four. Last year, our um, copy budget decreased by over five thousand dollars just from the standpoint of teachers are using technology instead of worksheets um, so that was great that was something i had not even thought of but that allows us to spend more money on other things now than we were able to before the kids are a lot more engaged and the immediate feedback and you know my principal was in um, a few weeks ago and he mentioned that Sometimes doing stuff on, on pencil and paper, the kids, you know, they don't like doing it as well. But if they can do it on an iPad and they could use the different colors and the different, um, different things that they can use within an app, it just automatically it just becomes more fun for them. Programs, it's, it's a lot of the things are intuitive and the kids could kind of figure it out with me. Uh, but many times they they fix it before I do or they could they find things out about the programs that I don't even know and so a lot of times they end up teaching me how to use it. Where are you at? I'm trying to look for that thing. What thing? That thing that we did with the little line. Just dive right in mm -hmm. and uh, give it a give it a try and it, it's helpful if you have another person um, my teammate Britt um, he learned some things I learned some things and we just kind of help each other along or discover something and we're all excited to use it and to try it so well the first thing that we did was we put one in the hands of every adult in the building um, I really believed if we could get the adults sold on the technology then it would be easier to get them um, to use it in their classrooms then we started rolling it out in the upper levels because I knew the kids there number one 
I want everybody to have access to it before they leave our school. So fifth graders, you know, I want them to use it before they go. So we started in fifth and then fourth and third, and we've rolled it all the way down through kindergarten now. My favorite app this year is definitely uh, Reflex Math. Um, another math, fourth grade math teacher, Britt Barrientes, and I, um, we piloted the program at the school for a few months. And we had so much success with it, our principal decided to purchase it for the whole school. And so we're really excited seeing the results that have came back just after a couple weeks of using the program. We're in it for a couple months now, and we're just seeing the math automaticity with facts and the fluency. And it's really impressive, and we're really excited about all the great things that it's doing for our students. Earlier in the year, we received um, an email saying that there was a program called Reflex Math that was looking to pilot in a couple of classrooms. And so I knew that Mr. Town and Mr. Mariantis are really high tech. They're both fourth grade math teachers here at our school. And so I asked them if they would like to try the program. They took it, ran with it, loved the program. Um, we ended up adding it for our whole school. Um, it's now in six different schools in the district. We see our school as a lab school. We, um, we're real active with the different universities. We work with UCO on some research studies. We work with Southwest Christian in uh, placement of their education majors. They also have a mentoring program where their non-education majors work with our students. Um, OSU places their urban experience students here at our school. OSU professors are on our campus doing research. So we really are trying to do things here that we believe can translate to other schools. We don't want to just do it for Hilldale, but we know that if we can make find things that work here, that it would work for almost every school. So we're hoping that we're um, a part of a, a progressive that will cause um, us to look at education differently in Oklahoma and to try to take the, the limited resources that we have available in this state and still provide the best education for kids that we can. Feed the Children um, is just down the street from us, and whenever I got the job three years ago, one of my first visits was to them and said, um, you know, you're in our attendance zone, you know, our kids are very needy, can we um, enrich our relationship with you? And we are the only school in the United States that's been adopted by Feed the Children, and that's helped us out a bunch. Thank you. Southwest Christian, they have a group of, of people who come here on Fridays and they meet with our boys and girls who have lost a parent through either death or incarceration, uh, specifically mothers. Uh, they have lost their mother through one of those two things. And those um, women from Southwest Christian meet with our kids every Friday and have lunch with them, play games with them, just create that maternal figure in that kid's life that that kid didn't have until now. Those are the kinds of things that, that are helping us out. So, um, Council Roads Baptist Church came to us and said, how can we help? And um, Mackenzie McManus has been just incredible in um, asking me, what do you all need? And then making sure that we get it. So. You know, we couldn't do this without everybody's help. You know, we, we ask on the behalf of our kids, and um, it seems like there's always somebody willing to step up and help. It's not an easy job, and I always tell the teachers it's, a, it's the hardest job you'll ever love, and um, that's kind of how we feel about it. We come to work every day with the idea of we're going to impact kids' lives, and that's why most people became educators anyway. <laughs>